Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Here we go. Taking a look at the hourly time frame for Ethereum, it can be seen that the price went down with around 3.4% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 129. The fact that the sellers are taking over can be deduced because the volume was high and the move was strong. Jumping to the simple moving average, or short SMA, it is calculated by summing up the close prices for a certain amount of candles and then dividing it by the number of the candles. We use usually the last 20, 50, 100 and 200 candles to calculate the different SMAs. The SMA lines could be used to determine if a trend is currently to the downside or upside. The SMA lines could also show support and resistance levels and breaking one of them could signal trend to the corresponding direction. Now looking at the current hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA. The 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 129. Important to note is that the price is currently below the 200 SMA, which is can play as a strong resistance. However, breaking it decisively to the upside will signal a potential big move up. Moving to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 45, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Moving to the stochastic RSI, like the RSI, it also shows when a price has been oversold or overbought. The stochastic RSI, however, improves sensitivity and generated a higher number of signals by moving quicker up and down. It consists of the percent %K and percent %D lines. The percent %D line is a moving average of the percent %K line, meaning that it moves slower. Cross points between the two lines can be perceived as showing a change in the trend. When we now look at the current hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are currently very high, which means that the price is overbought and a trend change or at least consolidation for some time is to be expected. Despite this, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so patience should be exercised until you see if the trend will in fact go down. Moving to the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is below all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bearish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will break it to the upside above the current price of around 130. For longer price development, the daily time frames should also be considered as the shorter time frames are not as accurate. Looking at the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 45, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Jumping to the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, we can see that the crypto is being oversold because the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region. A change in the trend can be expected or for the crypto to remain at least stable for some time. The K line is currently above the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the upside. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching, but you should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you. See you.